Situation remains very tense as Russia is expecting 400,000 strong Ukrainian counterattack. It's day 412 of the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Let's dive deeper. Russian authorities involved in this conflict claim that Ukraine has 400,000 strong army getting ready to strike Russian armed forces in their long-awaited spring offensive. As both sides prepare to play their parts in this upcoming offensive, tension has reached an all-time high. In Kupiansk, Russian forces spotted a massive increase of engineering units on Ukrainian sides, preparing firing positions and setting up fake mock-ups of equipment. Both sides have accumulated a considerable amount of forces here. Heavy artillery continues on both sides, except reconnaissance units no heavy fighting were reported. But as Russia is expecting a massive attack in this area, they are deploying modern and heavy equipment. In Bakhmut, the bloodiest battle continues. Soldiers on both sides have become very exhausted from this very intense battle. Rotation is being carried out by Ukrainian sides as they transfer fresh troops. According to the report, VDV paratroopers along with Wagner's managed to breach the Ukrainian defense line several times near the railway, but were not successful in gaining foothold. Although in the northern and center part the front line is now mostly up to the railway line. Ukrainian forces in the south still hold this area over here. They tried to counter-attack but were not successful. VDV paratroopers are now deployed here, so we might see progress in near future. Northern and southern flank remain stable. Transporting equipment through this road has proven very costly for Ukrainians as they lose more and more equipment to Russian kamikaze drones and artillery. After a very, very long time and after very, very intense fighting, Russian forces in Avdiivka managed to advance in two directions, near Stepov and one near Novobakhmativka, although this advance came with some heavy price. Heavy clashes were reported in this part. In Marinka, clashes continued in almost every area, no changes were reported. In Orykiv, Russia launched the most damaging strike on Ukrainian forces. They launched two waves of strikes with heavy artillery and destroyed four tanks, four BMP, five incoming BMP and other equipment. Ukrainian forces also suffered some casualties. I think Ukraine needs to be very careful, because according to the Russian sources, it also lost two Hamars launchers recently. This destroyed equipment was expected to be used in the offensive. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.